All right, back in Fallout 76. It's been a little while, man. I haven't played, and it's not because I don't like the game. I just kind of ran out of stuff to do. Okay, we got a couple of snaggy guys. Oh, 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 never mind. We got Mr. Gutsy on patrol. Whoop both their asses, man. You can do it. Oh, shit. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry. I take it back. I take it back! A lot of you have asked me to build something in 76 because there's been a lot of changes since the last time that I actually built something here, which I looked into and I really like the idea of the player shops, you know, the shops that you place in your camp. It's pretty badass. So I wanted to build something around that feature, but I wanted to give people more of a reason to come visit instead of just a shop. So I built a bar slash hotel slash shop. Oh, and, and slash workshop and uh, player home. And probably something else I'm forgetting because this place is huge, man. Like they had to have increased the build limit or something because I felt like I could build so much more than I used to be able to. Or maybe I'm just going crazy, but this place is packed. I wanted to build at White Spring because it seemed like there's a lot of traffic over here. Like every time I logged in, there was at least a couple of player shops by the golf course. So I wanted to join in on the fun. Plus, I think the grass looks really good with these kind of builds. And you know, I was trying to make this structure look like something that could have already been here, which is kind of hard to do when you're building something on a golf course. But I think this corner seemed to work out pretty good. I'm over here on the golf course by hole three, which is like northeast of the Miner's Monument. All right, so let's do a quick tour and then I'll show you how I built this. So this first part is the bar. It's kind of like the biggest area. It's sort of like the main attraction, but I think it looks pretty cool in here. Um, the bar isn't my favorite. I use these bar pieces that we got from the Atomic Shop. And it's really just the same piece, but this is all I had to work with. So it looks okay when you're not looking directly at it. <laughs> but my favorite part is this stage. A lot of people take pictures of themselves like playing these instruments, so I thought it looked kind of cool. I wanted to set it up to where you have like a really good shot in photo mode. And I did test these and space them out accordingly to where you can go into photo mode without any problems. So I need like six people to come in here and take a photo so we can see how it all looks. And outside on the patio, I have a couple of rocking chairs and a radio. It's pretty chill and relaxing, minus the Scorch Beast in the distance, who does come by to visit every now and then, and it's just terrifying and destructive. But what I hate most is that I had to build this on top of where you tee off at hole three. I couldn't find another spot that was flat or big enough. And I really wanted this to look like it could have already been here. And this part just takes that away from me because this building is one hell of an obstruction if you're trying to tee off. So just pretend like that's not there. Okay, this is just a flat area outside of the golf course. Just do that for me, it would make me feel better. Now in here is the hotel. You can enter in this way or through the main door, whichever, whichever you prefer. And uh, this isn't my best work. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that out there. But I do have my shop over here, which is full of plans. If you need plans, come hit me up. I wish these looked a little bit better because it's very scrappy and it kind of doesn't fit the theme of the bar, but whatever, you know, so here's my check-in desk, which is just the bar, but I put in these filing cabinets around it to make it look not like a bar, you know, I'm working on it. It's, this isn't, I'm not done. I'll make it look better eventually. And upstairs is where all the rooms are. This is like the actual hotel part of it. And so each room is set up exactly the same way, but they have a different theme. So we got a bed, a side table, and a stash box, which to me, I think this is pretty practical. You know, if you're hanging out with four people in the game and you come across my camp, you all have, there's four rooms. You guys can come up here and rest, get some health back, and then go through your inventory. It would be cool if we had a feature where we could, you know, charge for the hotel room, but you guys could actually decorate the room yourself, like in workshop mode. That would be pretty cool. Bethesda, if you're watching this, take notes, okay? That would be pretty cool. Oh, and, and get me a job. Now, I know that you guys probably thought that I forgot about this, but no, I actually built the bathroom. I didn't forget. And I built this even though we, like, these are the pieces that we have to build bathrooms with. Like, look at that toilet. Look at that. It's horrible. Unless I'm just missing something. Let me just double check because now I'm questioning myself. Yeah, no, that's the only toilet that we have to use, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me because we get these beautiful clean couches, the clean carpet, all these nice walls. Everything's just like nice and pre-war almost. Like, look at this bed. Look at the sheets. Not a scratch on the sheets, but these are the toilets that we have to work with. Bethesda, again, no, take note. Give us better toilets and, uh, and still get me a job. Now here is just a little outdoor area where you can hang out and chill, maybe have some breakfast. I don't know, I didn't do too much. You know, I didn't think it needed too much, just nice and simple. You can watch the sunrise, whatever you want. It's beautiful. 
And now back we have a workshop. This is anyone can hit that button. So this is open to everybody passing by. So I have a weapons workbench, armor, power armor, chemistry station, and then the tinkers workbench. So like all the main ones right here in case you guys need them. And also a couple of stash boxes. And upstairs is kind of like my player home area. So it's not as welcoming, you know, <laughs> it's more of a more of a deterrent. But this is my place to go if I ever just need to chill the hell out, you know, just be just alone and deal with whatever trauma I've dealt with that day from the wasteland. And I like that it's small, you know, I have everything I need, a radio, a guitar, and a bed. Like that's, that's all I need. Except for, you know, food and water and a bathroom. Well, shit. All right, for the build, you wanna start with a foundation over here where you tee off. And we're gonna use this post to the left over here as a guide. So we want the grading of the foundation to be just a bit higher than the post. And we want the foundation to be almost touching it on the inside. See, it's, it's almost touching it there. Now to test to make sure that the foundation is high enough, you wanna snap out four more foundations on this row. So a total of five and you want the last one to be just above the grass and not sinking in. Oh, so just like that. So that, that's a good height. We want it just like that, where it's almost sinking in. And then to make sure that you have it lined up properly, you want to snap out three more on this side. So we have four on this front row, four foundations, and we want to make sure they line up with the road. And they do. Holy shit. Okay, first try. Not bad. And the final test to make sure your foundation is in the right spot is you want to snap out four more foundations back here. So a total of five going towards that tree. I don't know why I don't keep a straight line here. I just, I switch over to this next row, but you want to just snap out. You have five foundations total going across to this tree and you're not hitting the tree. So we're good. We have five and we're not hitting the tree. So we're in the good spot. So now we just got to fill in the rest of this. Now, once you have everything lined up, this is how your foundation should look. Your first row should have three foundations. So I have one, two, three. And the second and third row should have five going towards that tree. So one, two, three, four, five, there's the tree. And then the fourth and the fifth row should only have four. One, two, three, four. And you should be good. And now we're gonna build the stage, which is the first block of the second and third row. So I'm gonna change these to concrete so we know which ones that we're working with. And you can change all of these foundations later on. I just like using the wood foundations first when I'm, I'm first building this stuff. But you wanna isolate one of the concrete foundations. So I'm just gonna remove all the ones that it could be snapping to, and then just raise it up. And when you do, there should be this white line that starts to appear, which you can use that as a guide. So get the top part of the foundation just above that line and then move it towards you to where you don't see the line anymore. And it should be lined up just next to the other foundation. And it is. So now we're gonna put everything back, but make sure that the concrete foundation snaps to the other one. That way it's at the same level. And there's your stage. And now we're just putting the wood foundations back into where they were. And now to put in the bottom floor walls, I sped this part up a little bit because you don't need to see every single detail, you know, about the walls. As long as you have the shape down, you're good because I do change some of these during the decoration process. Like one of these walls was solid, but I changed it to a window later on. So as long as you have the walls in the right spot, you're good. All right, so here's the basic layout of the bottom floor walls. I think I changed maybe one or two in the decoration process, but this is pretty much it. Now the walls that go around the stage, I played around with them a little bit, and the best way that I could get them to work is to have them snap to the concrete foundations that's raised up a little bit. So they're gonna be a little bit higher, see, just like that, and that's fine, as long as the stage isn't up too high. But if you followed along with how high I raised mine, you should be good. The upstairs walls will still snap in just fine. And speaking of which, time to build the upstairs. Now, if you're following along with me, recreating this, do not put these stairs in just yet. Don't do it. Don't, don't do this, okay? I'll explain in just a second and tell you when it's okay to do this, but now is not the time, all right? But when we do get to the point where it's okay to put in the stairs, we're basically going to match the top floor with the bottom floor with just a couple of minor changes. So basically the upper floors and the walls are going to be laid out just like the bottom floor that we just went over. I wish this went a little bit smoother up here, but uh, you'll see why in just a second. But the only thing that's different with the walls is that I push these back to the edge instead of having a balcony like the ones below. So that way we could fit in a couple of rooms right there. But everything else is pretty much the same layout and design. Now the reason why I tell you to wait is because when you try to put in the roofs over here above the stairs, they won't work. They won't go in. Yeah, I realized that the hard way. 
The only way to get these in is by removing the stairs. And the only way to remove the stairs is by removing pretty much everything that I just did up here. So you see this pause right now, this pause? This is me losing my mind. <laughs> me going, really, I can't put this roof in? Just snap, just do it. And I know that I can't remove the stairs, but I try anyway. And then there's another pause of me losing my mind. And then I finally go, fine, I'll do it, whatever. I'll just delete all this stuff, it's fine. <laughs> Uh, it's pure chaos. And just to twist the knife, you can't remove the stairs, even though you should be able to because all the floors are gone. You have to remove all of the walls around the stairs for them to be able to be removed. Bethesda, could you fix this, please? Like, come on, man. I know it's just a couple of walls, but at this point, it's just adding salt to the wound. You know? All right, let's see. Oh, there they go. Yeah, okay, now I can put in two roof pieces. All of that. <laughs> for two roof pieces. That's what I'm telling you guys, don't do it. All right, so here's what you do. Here's how you start all of this. You put in the walls first, all right? Put the walls and the roof in first. Look at that, oh, no problem, no issues. Okay, so once the roofs are in, now you can do everything that I just showed you, but without the brain aneurysm from having to start all over. You're welcome. Okay, once that's all back to the way that it was, now we're gonna build the tower. So get out this roof piece. It's kind of like this slanted corner piece. And then we're gonna get out the, just like a regular, let me, hang on, let me show you. Let me show you. This one. And then we're gonna get out the same corner piece that we just used and snap it on this side. So it should look like this up here. Corner piece, regular middle piece, and then corner piece again. So we're gonna remove this. I have no idea why that roof still stays up there. It's not snapping to anything, but the game thinks it's fine, whatever. And we're gonna use a half wall piece and snap that to this other wall here in the middle. And then we're gonna pop in the roof. There we go. And so now all we have to do is snap in the rest of the half walls that go all the way around this piece. And that should build your tower. Pretty easy, not too bad. And then we just put the walls back in. And for the main roof, I just used these slanted pieces all the way back here. So no nothing too crazy with these. And then I used these corner wall pieces to fill in the gaps on the both ends and then over here where the shorter side is, and I think these look pretty cool. All right, and now all we have to do is put in the individual rooms, and it's really not that hard. We can just snap in the, you can use whatever pieces that you want. I like using the barn pieces. And the majority of these snap in the right way, so like this. I wanna see the red on the outside because I think it looks better. So that side works just fine. The part above the stage right here, that snaps in just fine. And then even this one in the middle, no problems. But this side over here doesn't wanna work. They wanna face the wrong way. And the reason why is because there's walls beneath them and they're snapping to the walls and not the floor. You see that wall right there? That's what it's snapping to and it's facing that way. So what you have to do is remove the floor and then see that's the wall, that's the culprit. Now, now it snaps in just fine. And I thought that since one of the walls was in the right way that the other one would snap in with it, but no, that's not the case. You have to do the same thing for both sides. So let's put the wall back in put the floor back in, and then do the same thing for this side to get this wall in. And there we go. I love building in this game. All right, so it's looking pretty cool. Now to just put in the railings. Um, these down here are pretty simple. We put the railings in first, and then we'll put in the post. So these just all snap in, no problem. And now for the post, there's a particular way that you can set them up to where they look normal. Now, normal to me is having posts on the edge or like the corner of the floor and Bethesda doesn't agree. It's like we have every option but that. Is that just me? Like, am I the weird one or should posts go on the edge? I feel like, I mean, this has happened in two games and I feel like I'm going crazy. Okay, let's see, house with posts. Oh, edge, 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 edge. Okay, okay, it's not just me. Anyways, to make it look somewhat normal, like this doesn't look too bad from a distance, you know? Don't put the post in the middle. So like right here, it would just look kind of weird, like a big gap. So have it off to the side a little bit and then put one on this side. Even though it blocks the porch a little bit, it still looks better from a distance. And the last thing that I wanna show you is putting the railing in up here. Now the last time that I built in 76, I mentioned that I wish that these railings would snap up here and like everyone on the internet <laughs> told me about these. And I'm fully aware that these exist. I just don't like the way that they look as much as these. So I was just wanting to gripe about how these didn't snap. But either way, we can still get them to work. You just gotta line them up and it just takes a little bit longer. So 
All I'm doing is lining up the one in the middle. So you see this line right here? That shows you the middle of the floor. So you just kind of want to line it up with that. That's a good reference point. Once the middle piece is in there, the corners will snap just fine. So it's not that hard. It just takes a little bit to line everything up. But that's pretty much it for the build. Now, I didn't record myself building the workshop because it's pretty straightforward. It's really just like four foundations with one foundation off to the side. So it's pretty simple, but I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments or hit me up in my Discord server. The link will be in the description.